I'm Elliot Hayes, and this is Channel 12 News. In light of recent events, Channel 12 would like to update you on the progression of what could be the next world war. Elliot? Well, recently, tensions have rose in the Middle East as countries like Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran contemplate joining the war effort. The conflict between North and South Korea has endangered world peace for the past three years. The North first threatened South Korea and the U.S. Capitol on January 29, 2014, and the U.S. performed the annual joint drills, Foul Eagle. Due to these threats, South Korea mobilized troops, causing further panic in the North. As a result of the Mutual Defense Treaty, the United States immediately sent arms to South Korea. China, in an effort to weaken the United States, sent direct military aid to North Korea and backed by China, North Korea declared war on South Korea, specifically targeting the town of Seoul. Then, as the Korean conflict raged on, Cuba saw the opportunity to remove U.S. economic sanctions and cut ties from the United States after years of ongoing frozen relations. North Korea agreed to remove said economic sanctions in exchange for the aid in war effort against South Korea and its allies. Cuba's entrance in the war triggered the United States to call on Great Britain for its support. Putin, after the cancellation of the Moscow summit in 2014 by President Barack Obama, sought to avenge past failures during the Cold War. After previous struggles with America, Putin decided to attack the eastern coastline in the name of North Korea. The Russian administration also planted missiles in Cuba in an attempt to avenge the Cuban Missile Crisis. Cuba, upon receiving these missiles effectively and being in close proximity, bombed the East Coast. The ECC, Eastern Coastal Crisis, was the worst disaster the United States had faced since Pearl Harbor, leaving thousands dead and many wounded. In response to the bombings, Congress proceeded to declare war on the opposing nations in the spring of 2015. At this point, Latin and Central America joined the war effort in favor of the United States due to their strong ties in the oil industry and their other economic endeavors. Previously, the U.S. had strong involvement in Egyptian affairs concerning the government and violent military massacres of protesters. This fueled violence and anti-American sentiment in Egypt, and these issues pushed Egypt into joining North Korea, China, Russia, and Cuba. America, in fear of the opposing side establishing alliances at an alarming rate, took immediate action. They gathered nuclear weapons and effectively bombed Moscow. Russia was left dazed and in ruins after the tragedy that struck without warning. Casualties ranked higher than those of Pearl Harbor and the ECC combined. The strategy behind the Moscow bombing was to hit the opposing side where they would not expect it. After these accomplishments, France and Germany joined the American forces. They began mobilizing troops and kept Russia far from recovery. Recently, tensions have stalemated. It seems that the president is attempting to gain Italy as another ally to neutralize conflict in Europe. This is undoubtedly due to the previous stated fears of the Middle East involvement. Hopefully, these international tensions will resolve before we create an even larger issue. However, Ukraine is also becoming a strong anti-American force. Should collaborations between this war-torn country and Egypt concern the U.S.? We'll address all these issues on tomorrow night's newscast. Signing off, I'm Elliot Tejas. And I'm Natalie Jones. Stay classy, Chicago. And good night. <laughs> testing, oh. testing, testing, testing. <laughs> like, I can like... It's late in the Newscast is done. Coastline in the name of Alpha Corn. God! Damn! Natalie? Let me play off the ball! God, okay, okay. In light of recent events. <laughs> Just say what you want to say. We should, like, practice it more. Like, yeah, we read it once. <laughs> Not even all the I don't even know how it ends. I don't even know. <laughs> Update you on the progression of what could be the next world war. Recently, tensions have rose in the Middle East. I have to say Natalie first. Oh okay. <laughs> Wait, I think I took off my glasses. Roll like five. Okay, roll. <laughs> Cut. Roll. Cut. Shoot, I didn't really Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I'd like to update you on the progression of the... What could... Shoot! Oh yeah, my, it was good, uh, too! It's okay, it's okay. Well, the news would like to invite you, update you... What the heck? We'd like to update you. Natalie? <laughs> That's recent. Okay, here we go. Natalie. Recently. Attention to the... Come on!
Okay, just what? Natalie Jones. <laughs> it's not my fault. I didn't name myself. Okay. I'm the newscaster. I'm a shoe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No! <laughs> I can't like say it. Just my clothes are old. Yeah. Let's just this. This is so bad. It's our first time in the south. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Hold on. Recently, tensions have broken the middle east countries like Turkey, Iran, 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 Iran,